I'm here with my buddy Joey Drones and we got our hands on a brand new Osmo Action and we're super excited to unbox it and show you guys what's inside. So, let's check it out. Let's get started. Yeah. What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. My name is Carlos Melendez, your favorite South Florida realtor, and I am here with my good friend, Joey Drones from Drone Home, and today we're gonna to talk about an awesome new action cam created by our friends over at DJI called the DJI Osmo Action. Now, this camera is the latest from the Osmo series, and I must say, Joey and I have been shooting quite frequently on the DJI Osmo Pocket. Joey, do you happen to have your Osmo Pocket with you? Well, the reason I bring this up is because the Osmo Action uh, is a little bit different from the Osmo Pocket. So if you've been using one of these bad boys, it was primarily designed by our friends over at DJI to pretty much shoot some really fluid, buttery smooth cinematic footage. It's an amazing camera, I must say. Every firmware that DJI releases makes the camera just better and better and better. I use it a ton to shoot all of my real estate videos and uh, my friends over at Drone Home use it quite frequently as well for a lot of their videos. And I must say, the DJI Osmo Pocket never disappoints. At least not during the day. And low light settings, maybe a little. Yeah. But that's expected. Exactly yeah, that's for, expected. Good for outdoors, but though. Absolutely. Great for outdoors. Low light, not so much. But that's expected because of its small sensor. But again, the reason we're talking here today is because of the brand new DJI Osmo action camera. I was able to get my hands on one, so Joey and I are super excited to cut this guy open, unbox it, and see what's included. So, let me see, do I have a knife? Oh, perfect. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. Now, just randomly have a knife in your pocket. Yeah, I'm Puerto Rican. We, we always have knives in our pockets. No but, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. But listen, all joking aside, don't unbox without the supervision of a parent. In this case, I'm the parent, supervising Joey. Fair enough. Anyways, so what we got going on here guys, Osmo Action, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what's inside. So when we open the guy up, immediately you have the auction camera right there. And uh, man, it's pretty small. Oh, it's tiny. This thing is smaller than a GoPro. Yeah, you know, I, I agree. I think it's probably, probably a little bit smaller. If, if it isn't, then it definitely does appeal to be smaller. Um, I will say right off the bat, I am super excited for the front facing screen as well as the rear facing screen. That's going to be huge for vlogging and uh, running good shots. What do you think? Yeah, if you're vlogging or you just need to see exactly what is going on while you're looking at the camera, make sure you're framed up. It's going to be perfect. I personally like the, looks like it has all the same attachments for a GoPro. So if you've already had a GoPro in the past or want to get all the attachments that Pretty much GoPro standard. I mean, that's that's ready to go. Right that's out of the box. huge, yeah. Especially, I mean, I own a ton of different GoPro cameras, so I'm gonna break out my uh, GoPro accessory bin and see what I can go ahead and start using with this camera. Because based on the casing that it comes in, it looks like you'll be able to just plug and play any of the GoPro accessories um, that are out there. So that's super exciting. But there's one more little box in the actual box here. So let's see what's inside this box. And it looks like we have a couple more accessories. We've got a uh, adhesive mount here. It's a circular flat mount. And uh, this looks like it unscrews here. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's pretty neat. It comes apart. So it looks like they're gonna have some quick release setups, which okay, is really that's, nice. That's useful. Um, what else do we have? All right. We have our USB-C cable as well as the screw. And what's this little thing? Oh, we have a, looks like a curved uh, mount. I'm assuming for any kind of helmets or that sort of thing. And then this little DJI case is, ah, uh, the battery. battery that's case. pretty neat that it comes in a nice protective case though. This, nice. The GoPro does not do that. So that's really nice that they include it like that. And of course you have a manual, but who are we kidding? We don't read manuals. So. Looking at the camera and uh, checking out first impressions, uh, again, really nice camera. The build looks really, really nice. Let's go ahead and plug this battery here. Thank you, Joey. See if it Super light. has any juice. It looks like it does have a little bit of juice on here, so nice. Ah, you hear that sound? That's like 
Success. It's success. It's happy to see us. I'm happy to see you too. Uh, on a Monday too. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is really nice. You have a full, I don't know if you can see that there, but you have a nice full screen. Uh, nice front facing screen here. Like I mentioned earlier, this is going to be great for running gunshots. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of, of being that selfie person with the selfie stick. Battery life on the front or not? Uh, you know what? Let's see. Well, cool. looks like we got to set it up first. Well, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to activate this guy first. So we'll activate it and then, of course, we will get you guys some answers on that. Um, but you know what? Overall, we're going to go ahead and do another video shortly with our full review once we take this guy out on the uh, field. We'll take it out on field the test. water. We'll take it out into some real estate properties, maybe on the boat, the Segway, who knows. We'll have some fun with it, yeah, see sure. how it uh, you know, performs in different environments, uh, see how it holds up uh, going underwater because I'm not sure if you're aware, but this thing is waterproof all the way down to 11 meters. Uh, if you're curious, that translates to about 36 feet underwater. I was actually curious. <laughs> well, there you go, 36 feet. And that's pretty huge because, to be quite honest, if you're going to go free diving, if you're going to go uh, you know, doing anything in the water, pools, beaches, you're really not going to go much more than 36 feet unless you're scuba diving. And at that point, I'm sure by then, DJI will probably have a great underwater case for it, just like they have for the uh, Osmo Pocket. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that. But another cool thing that I love about this camera that I'm pretty excited about is the ability to change the actual protective lens. You can add UV and polarized filters to this. Nice. So that's going to be a game changer as well for when you're in those really bright shots outside, especially here in South Florida. We, we tend yeah. to deal with that a Over lot. Overexposed bright light. Oh, South yeah. Out here. <laughs> especially when you're on a boat, jet ski, you know, doing anything on the water where you have that sun Reflective. glare from the water, that reflection is killer. So that's really cool. Um, aside from that, what are your thoughts, Joe? Anything you want to share with uh, our viewers about this action cam? Uh, for those of you wondering, it's 349 bucks, the same as the Osmo Pocket, um, same as the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, actually, no, the GoPro Hero 7, it comes in different uh, formats. So I believe that starts at about, what, 300 and goes up to 400, depending on which one you yes. get. So. For 350, uh, again, based on what I've seen from other reviews and stuff that I've actually uh, educated myself about this camera, it seems like the color's better. Uh, it has, like I mentioned, uh, a very nice waterproofing. It also has the ability to change lenses, the dual facing monitors, uh, the rugged build. I mean, and it's got the DJI name to it, which is awesome. And that, that's, that's big enough for me because I'm a DJI fanboy, so. I think. For the value of what it is, it's going to be great, but let's go test it out in the field. And yeah, let's, let's test it out. Well, there you have it, guys. That's our unboxing video. We're gonna go ahead and hit the field and see how this little puppy performs. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to click the bell icon so that you're notified when I upload my next video. And as always, thank you for watching. Get out there, create some awesome content, and God bless. Till next time, my friends. Bye.